it's tough, you know. I mean, it's good to be back, obviously, to see all the lads and that. But it is tough, you know, double sessions and early mornings, late nights, and don't get to see a kid. But nah, it's, it's good. It's good to see the lads, but it's tough. There's a few rusty players, you know. I mean, there's obviously a few who haven't touched the ball since um, since the last game. So I don't want to name names, but number 14. <laughs> yeah, there was a few at the end of last season that. That the club, the club let go, and you know it's not nice to see because once once you um, leave Arsenal, it's, it's only you can only go down really. You know it's, it's tough out there. I mean, I spoke to a few of the lads who are still looking for clubs, and it's, it just shows you how hard you have to work. You know, and even if you do work hard and, and the club let you go, I mean it's still tough. And hopefully they find clubs and, and make a career. I think it was Frimpong. You know, he was he was like, like the midfield dominator. You know, he used to tackle and. Do the day work and, and give me the ball, <laughs> but no, he was he was probably the, the best one, and he's still going. You know, he's he's, he's been unlucky of injuries. You know, if he didn't have any injuries for me, he'd be he'd be playing every week. But he's, he still works hard, and he's I mean he's, he's come back pre-season in good shape, and hopefully he can have a good season this year. His Benikafobi is, is not fit at the moment, so but in this pre-season, there's a, there's a young lad called Gideon, like a Somalian lad. He's, he's a good player. You know, he's he's a bit. He's physically, he's probably not there yet, but technically, I mean, he's not far off, and he's a midfielder as well, so so it's good. And the boss here gives gives young players a chance. There's a few, you can, there's Tuba, Akpon, he's a good player. Tommy Icefield, you know, who, who, they'll all be looking to step up this year, and they got the Emirates Cup as well, which is we didn't have last year, and this year, that's your chance, you know, to show the home fans and show the boss you can deal with the pressure of playing at the Emirates. Yeah, we are close, you know, I mean, we just got back from holiday together, so that shows. Shows you what good friends we are, you know, not just on on the pitch, off the pitch as well. And I think that's important. You know, I said before we got that good group of British players, you know, six six of us, and, and we really stick together. You know, we, we go out for dinner and we go out together, and, and on the pitch that that can only help us. We always have a meeting, you know, before the start of the season. And I think this season we we need to we need to really set our targets down. You know, we we do every season, but last last season when you realise you can't. You can't get something, then you have to set another target. And we set that as our target, and we've done it. So that's why we celebrated. But next season, we we need to we need to be challenging for more than fourth. You know, we know that. And if we get a few more players in, and we can, we feel we can really have a have a good go. And especially after the, the last 12 games of last season, you know, we went unbeaten, and we had a real good good team spirit. And I hope we can keep that going into this season. So, you know, there's been a few times where where he's really let me let me know what he thinks of me when back in. Back in the youth team days, but I think that's for me. That's the type of manager I like. You know, that's what I like having around. Someone who tells you how it is, not someone who is going to lie to you and that he's honest. And he's a great coach as well. You know, I think last season you saw how how, how we improved defensively. You know, our, our team shape got better. Our tactics was better. We worked, we worked more on that. We we knew what we were doing when we got into games. You know, we need to do this. So he's been great. And hopefully this this preseason we can get some good work in with him again, and, and we can take that into the season. He's a great lad, you know, he's funny, I mean, I think a few a few people wouldn't expect him to be how he is, he's a bit of a clown and he likes to mess around, but on the pitch, you know, he's he's the most professional player I know, you know, he, he doesn't he doesn't mess around and he's shouting and he's screaming, he can, he can scream at you and swear at you and say, and when you get off the pitch, you're best friend, you know, he's, he's like that. And he's German as well, which which is, you know what Germans like, they're efficient and they're organised and they're professional, so he, he's, he's good to have around. No, of course, I mean, I've grown up at Arsenal now, so I, I love Arsenal and... And I know what it feels like for the fans to, to dislike other other teams, and and yeah, I've, I've been on the train to watch Arsenal. I've done all the, what the fans have done, you know. So I, I know what it's like. And football fans are football fans. Their, their team is their team, and I understand that.